we should have uh, viable long-term renting options out there. But for that, you need a certain kind of stock, a certain kind of home, uh, a certain kind of apartment that, um, that will tempt people to, to rent long-term. We don't have that yet. And that affects downsizing as well. We have a lot of family homes in the Greater Dublin area that are not occupied by families, they're occupied by empty nesters. But the empty nesters don't have anything to downsize into that they'd be proud to call their next home. Um, so that's, uh, that's certainly a challenge. Um, one of the tables in the, the latest staff report actually shows you the, the mortgage cost versus the rent cost for the average one, two, three, four, five bed in different parts of the country. Um, and typically speaking, the, um, the maths, particularly at a one and two bed level, is more in favor of a mortgage repayment than a, than a, than a rent. Now, people are a lot more wary of buying a one and two bed now than they were 10 or 15 years ago because uh, what if the market turns? You could find yourself stuck in negative equity in a house that might not be suitable for your long-term needs. So that might be part of the reason why the, the mortgage is so much cheaper than the rent for one and two beds. As you move up into four and five beds, typically the math swings actually. And, and, and if you look at the mortgage repayment versus the, the rent repayment, um, probably on a par and in some cases the mortgage repayment will be above the, the, the rent, the monthly rent. Um, but when you're talking about four and five bed um, homes, there you are typically talking about people putting down roots for 10, 15 plus years. And in that case, if you fast forward to 15 years down the line, having paid 15 years of a mortgage, and 15 years of rent, you're in a very different position. In one case, you, you know, half own a house, and in one case, you don't. So there may be justifiable reasons why people are prepared to pay more to, to buy than, than rent.